Greeting, greeting, greeting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Be holy, be perfect community. community. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Greetings in the name of the Lord, our God and his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. May the Lord strengthen you today. May the resurrection life of, of our Lord manifest in your physical body and in your spirit and in your mind, spirit, mind, and body, and emotions. Emotions reside in the heart and in the mind. Uh, a lot of times, the doctor they dealing with the with the mind when we really need to be dealing with the heart. But <clears throat> that's not our topic today. That's not our topic today. That is not the topic today. We will not get on a soapbox today. So let us, you know, I, I just thank God that when we wake up in the morning, when we wake up in the morning and our mind is set on living for God, it is a glorious and wonderful thing. Regardless of what is going on in this world, don't worry about it. God is the author of all creation and he will determine what goes on in this world concerning us we are talking about the lust of the eye this is number 10 of one of those um elements of the lust of the eye and one of them is what distraction from god distraction from god so as we look at these images wow they just look money 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 cars houses oh let's have a party yeah let's have a party but when we do that you know and i'm not saying that we should not have uh things that are joyful and that or happy and that we celebrate in the Lord, that we celebrate in the Lord. We can have social gathering where we celebrate, but we celebrate in the Lord um, based on his standards. Uh, so as we go on, yes, 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 distractions from God, the lust of the eye will distract us from God. Mark 14, Mark 4 and 18, Mark 4 and 18, and others are the ones who, and others, others what he's talking about, the seeds, when you uh, uh, read uh, Mark 4, he say, and others are the ones on whom seeds was sown among the thorns. These are the ones who have heard the word. These are the ones who have heard the word, Mark 4, 19. But the worries and the cares of the world, the distractions of this age with its worldly pleasures and the deceitfulness and the false security or glamour of wealth or fame and the passionate desires for all the other things creep in and choke out the word and it becomes unfruitful. Unfruitful. Here is a very important key to all of us is that when we, when we, when we, because we live in a fallen and broken world, what? When, when we li live in a fallen, broken world, God, when he, we are born again, we are what? We are seized among thorns. We are seized among thorns thorn and these seeds these seeds if we do not stay focused if we do not live in the resurrection life of christ jesus the anointed jesus then we will what we will be we will be distracted from god and what we will become choked out the word of god that we hear daily if we're listening listening to the word it will be choked out and it will become unfruitful and this is why we see what goes on uh in the different lives of people is because regardless of what people say and how they say it there will be indicators of the truth that is within us and that when we constantly hear the word and we constantly, constantly rebel against God, that means the word of God is unfruitful 
fruitful in our lives. The word of God can be unfruitful in our lives if it is choked out by the distractions uh, from God. And he and he described that so vividly, so uh, in a way that no one can overlook it. And that is in Mark 4 and 19 when he said that these distractions of this age with his worldly pleasures and deceitfulness. See, deceitfulness is what is it a distraction. It twists the truth. It gives illusion something that can never be obtained. And see, this is what the world uh, do to seduce people away from God or to never go to God in any way. And so when when we are seduced, when seducing of the world is what is active in our lives, it will what? It will make the word of God unfruitful. So now, ministers, as you listen to this and you under, you can understand now why your word, why the word of the Lord, when you're going out to people and they don't get it, why? Because you will know that they are distracted. These distractions have made them, the word of God unfruitful in their life. Up. Uh, and it is what it is not um, a, a, a negative because God has explained that to us in his word. First Corinthians 13, 1. If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love for others growing out of God's love for me, growing out of God's love for me, growing out of God's love for me, then I have become only a noising gong or a changing a clanging, clanging, clanging symbol, just an annoying distraction, an annoying distraction. What he is saying here, he is saying our love must grow out of the love of God for us, the love of God for us. So, <laughs> yeah, that is a whole teaching. And this is what uh, we have to understand, learn and live out. For others growing out of love, of God's love for me or the love of God for me. See, we can only love when God's love grows out of us and is manifested out of us. God's love is the love that transcends all other things. God, God's love is what will give us a reality in what love truly is. It is only through God's love. It is only through God's love that we can love someone else. We may like them. We may desire desire them and all the passion for them. But true love comes from what? The God of love. He is what? God is love. And when we say we serve God, we must love. 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 14, 33. For God who is the source of their prophecy is not a God of confusion, distraction and disorder, but of peace and order as is the practice in all the churches of the saints, God's people. So what is he saying in the, in the churches of the saints, God's people, then what the prophecies that they prophesied will not produce confusion. These distractions, confusion is distraction. Anytime that we are confused, that is a distraction uh, away from God. Anytime there is a confusion and contention and strife within the body, uh, the churches, uh, the assemblies of God, then what? There will be distractions from God. People will not be uh, focusing on God. They will not be worshiping God. Why? Because they're caught up in all this confusion and distraction. And this is why the glory of God is not manifested in the individual or the group of individuals. Uh, yes, this is what the word of God said. For God, who is the source of their prophecy, the source of prophesying, the source of speaking the word of the Lord, uh, which come from God. See, uh, a prophecy is not from an individual. A prophecy is from God. A prophecy is a word coming from the heart of God to his people. And a prophecy from the coming from the 
heart of God to his people do not cause confusion. Now, it may cause a person to be confused because the prophecy is what it is spiritual. And if a person is carnal or in the flesh or don't have the spirit, it will what? It will confuse them. Why? Because they're trying to understand spiritual things through natural fleshly things. And that's where the problem lies. So when people are, uh, uh, the Lord uh, endow people with uh, prophecy and they go into an environment where uh, people don't even believe in, that the Holy Spirit exists today, uh, then that will cause confusion. Why? Because the faith uh, and uh, uh, the right standing with God in this group is not uh, in the position to receive the things of God uh, as they come from God. They, it's more of a re religious uh, religious uh, uh, group of people. They're religious, but uh, have no form of godliness. Yes, that's what I said. It's a group of religious people that has no form of godliness. Why no form of godliness? Because when we have godliness within our midst, we will see the spirit of the living God operating in our midst. We will see healing in our midst. We will see uh, the elders, those that are spiritually uh, mature, pray for people and they will be healed. We will see that people being healed, uh, being delivered from the spirit of of death being delivered from all manners of diseases if what if the people in the sanctuary are true saints true saints and are true in their holy life yes i did say that why because that is what the word of god says and if that is a problem for you click it off and don't turn it back on up because what i will not bend nor uh bend uh, on the word of God. Now, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he give you uh, all of us revelation of his word and his love. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. We love uh, because God loves us. And this is what, what the word of God says in Jesus name. Be blessed. Amen.